Okay guys, um, today I've got a very quick one. So Maxime at Element Howe sent out a bit of a shout out about WP Amelia being on AppSumo. Uh, I'd never used it before, but I had heard of it. Um, saw how good it was, snapped up the unlimited LTD, $245 for unlimited domains uh, lifetime. Uh, it is an absolutely brilliant and simple plugin. Uh, if you want to do any bookings, any scheduling, anything like that, selling events, uh, it is just simple and brilliant. So quickly here, I've got a pop-up button. So I've just got a button here, it opens up a pop-up. The pop-up is through another brilliant plugin called Bricks Extras. The modals in Bricks Extras just work. Others I've tried just don't work properly. Um, even the Bricks implementation that they put in 1.6.1, .1, uh, it's nowhere near as good as this. Um, the Bricks implementation, you've got to create a template, and then you've got to add it into your pop-up. This is just a nested widget, which is a modal, and then you put your content inside it and it just works. So big shout out to the guys at uh, Bricks Extras because it's, uh, it's a very, very handy, very easy way to work with modals. And this is what you get. So I hit the, basically hit the book a free consultation button. Here's my WP Amelia booking form. Uh, I've got it set on that modal, but by default it selects the first box, which is why it's showing these. I've just got two of us in there at the moment. So if we select me, hit continue, it's going to show my next available appointment. Uh, and that's based on my free busy time from Outlook as well. So I've got Microsoft 365 accounts. So it's telling me that on the 23rd, I've got no time up until 11 o'clock. And that's pulling from my calendar. So I can put a calendar entry in my mobile Outlook, uh, or I can do it via the website, or someone could book via this form. It adds it to my calendar. It then allocates that as busy time, so it won't show up in here, so I can't get double booked. So basically, we select a time. Let's say I selected 11 o'clock. Continue, details, which you can control these, phone number, hit continue. That will book an appointment with me at that time. It'll send a, a calendar invite to the uh, person's email address, uh, and it'll send them also a Zoom link because it automatically books the Zoom call as well. So in one simple form, it's sending us a notification to say that someone's booked, it's sending the customer a notification to say, here, you, you've booked this time. It's got a Outlook calendar in there for them or a Google calendar, whatever they want to add it to. It's got a Zoom meeting already booked and they've got a link to it. It is just absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'm doing these free consultations. You could also hook this up to Stripe or PayPal and receive a payment for it. So whichever way you want to work, it is absolutely brilliant. Uh, it doesn't have to be in a pop-up. You can actually do it as a on, a on a full screen and get a sidebar instead of all in one column. Um, I just wanted to do it in the pop-up, which is why I've done this. So that is that. All right, so I'm going to head over to have a look at the actual page. So here it is here. This is a, I've zoomed in a fair bit on this so you can see it here. This is my home page. I've got in a few different places. I've got these book forms. So book a free consultation book a free consultation. If we click on any of these, we get our pop-up form, okay? Simple as that. Now, to make this work, I'm going to just show you where I put it. So the first thing I've done is put it in the header. So it's on every page. You can do it the header or the footer. I've got the header on every page, so it doesn't matter. And this is absolutely brilliant. This is the Bricks Extras modal widget. So if I just do a quick search here, modal, uh, I've got a few different ones here, but the modal template you need a template for. The modal widget here is a nested widget, so you just drag it onto the editor, put some content under it, and that content is inside the modal. So, modal widget and a shortcode. And the shortcode in here is just my Amelia step booking shortcode. Simple as that, right? And the modal, so I go through all the options in here, but in the trigger, I've got a book now uh, when a element with this class is clicked. So all I have to do is my buttons or wherever I want them to open this from, I just add that class to it and it's going to open up this pop-up. Pretty straightforward, right? Okay. Now, the next thing I want to look at is the um, with the Amelia. So I'm not going to go through all these settings, but if we look at the integrations, 
We've got Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, Zoom, Webhooks, Marketing Tools, which is Facebook Pixel and Analytics, and we've got Lesson Space. So all of these automatically integrate to all of those platforms. So for me, I'm not going to click on these because I'll show you my secret keys. Uh, Outlook Calendar, there's a step-by-step -step instructions. It's really easy to follow. Uh, hook it up. Each employee then just selects their email address and then it hooks up to their calendar. Zoom, same deal. We've got Zoom accounts. So it automatically schedules a Zoom appointment for that employee and sends it to the customer. And the notifications for that, you can edit. Uh, I did have to edit the notifications because it didn't have the Zoom in it. Uh, wrong one. If I go to notifications here. And my internet's playing up a bit today. So um, if this drops, just, let me, just uh, bear with me. So by default, it didn't have this bit here in. All I've done is put that text in there, clicked on the show placeholders, get my join Zoom, and that's it, done. Right now it's going to send them a meeting uh, when the approve, uh, appointment's approved, a meeting with the Zoom meeting. Uh, da -da -da, if it rejects, we can actually send them a meeting. So we can actually reject the meeting or cancel it, uh, reschedule it. Uh, there's a next day reminder. So that by default will send them a message saying, hey, don't forget you've got this meeting tomorrow. How brilliant is that? So all of this is all built into this WP Amelia. There's a bunch of stuff you can see. You can set up with services, employees, locations, lots and lots of things you can set up in here, but I'm not going to go into any of that. All right, now, the, uh, if you do get stuck with Amelia, when you go into the settings, down the bottom here, there's a need help link. Click on that. Is my internet playing up? It might be. Start typing short codes. Okay, list of immediate short codes. And there's my list. So I just grabbed that basic short code there. You can put you can do a booking form for a specific category, specific service, specific employee. So if you've got an employee page, you can put a link on there that only gives the bookings for that employee. Or a location. So only for a particular office or or state or whatever. Uh, Absolutely brilliant. So anyway, I'm not going to go more into this, but the information's all there. All this took me was 10 minutes, really, to figure out how does this work, integrate it to Outlook, integrate it to Zoom, create a basic form, and then add it to a pop-up. 10 minutes. How brilliant is that? Now, one caveat is in the uh, settings, so in the customize here, so here's my step-by-step -step booking form two, which is the one I'm using. If I select that, you get a lot of options in here for your fonts and colors, uh, all that sort of stuff. But you don't get anything for spacing. And the issue I had is because this is displayed by default on a page, if you just put the shortcut on the page, this is what you're gonna see. But I didn't want that. I wanted, just to be difficult, I wanted something different, so I went for I want a pop-up like that. Now the problem I had is that the form or the div here that's popped up by default has a hundred pixels margin at the top and a hundred pixels margin at the bottom and it was making this pop-up very tall with just blank space and there's no settings in here to change that. So the only thing I had to do was have a look at when I've got this open. Let's bring up my Chrome DevTools. Basically found the Xmodal content. Here's my content, WP Amelia. I think it was the container. One of these anyway. Yeah, there we go. Margin auto 100 pixels. Let's zoom in a little bit. 100 pixels on that. So all I've done is created a code block which for the Xmodal content which is created by uh, Bricks Extras, target the Amelia container and set the margin to zero and that solved my problem with having the uh, 100 pixel margin at the top and the bottom. So that's all I've needed to do. So I'm really pleased that I've got this plugin, really happy with how simple it is to work, happy with the fact that it integrates with so many things out of the box. Um, looking forward to doing more with it. So 
Hopefully that is something that is useful to you. If you like this, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thank you.